So today I was sitting at home being artsy and cool when I got a message from my friend Marissa from Instant Influencer that we needed to make an art project out of clay or else the entire planet would be destroyed and nobody would have any food and water to drink for the next year. Okay, since I don't have a lot of experience with clay, we're gonna try and make a teddy bear. Wish me luck. And I just want to let you guys know that I absolutely hate working with clay. It's messy, it gets sticky, it's everywhere, and it's constantly on your fingers. Like, I'm finding clay in my fingers from projects I did in like 7th grade. That's not an exaggeration. It is truly the worst thing ever. Okay, but this hand motion reminds me of baking bread. I remember in middle school, it was a class project one time that each group had to bake bread, which was so crazy because not even the teacher knew how to bake bread. Anyway, we ended up making this weird flowery dough clay that wasn't even edible. The teacher took one bite of it and told us that we were probably going to fail, but nobody knew how to do it, so everyone failed, which was great because then I wasn't the only one that sucked at my project. Oh, and a really funny side note. Mischief sent me a little car. I might make a video on that, like customizing it or something. But if you want to see that, let me know. But yeah, they sent me a car. I love you, Mischief. All right, guys, let me tell you a secret that the government does not want you to know. 90% of any polymer clay project you've ever seen is probably half tin foil. That's because tin foil can be baked in the oven and does not destroy or expand. So it's perfectly fine to bake in the oven and you'll be safe. So if you see something that's really huge or really impressive, you're like, that's a lot of clay. It's probably more tin foil than clay, which is perfectly fine. But I just think we should know and be more honest about these things, you know, because we don't want to trick people into thinking it's something it's not. The best thing about not living with your parents is you can waste as much tin foil as you want, but you also have to pay for it. So it's like, it sucks. Okay, just stay with them. They're better. They have food and they have all, like they have laundry and stuff. So I was planning on making a teddy bear when we started, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. As you can see here, none of the parts are forming. I tried making the ears, those were too soft. I tried making the head, that was too hard and dried out quickly. So now it's like, what do I do? Do I just like give up? Am I supposed to like build a car or something? I don't know guys. This is just like the worst experience ever. Don't do this ever again in your life. Just kidding guys, always try new things. Because failure is the route to success or something like that. I don't know. I read it out of a self-help book. Don't ask me any more questions. Thank you. Alright guys, water challenge. So the goal is to drink an entire bottle of water in the shortest amount of time. I would say my shortest time is probably like 15 seconds. My longest is probably this one, which is 24. But go grab a water bottle right now and see if you can beat me. I believe. Go get some water, dude. Like, I'm not your mom. I can't tell you what to do, but you should probably listen. So this is just a quick visual representation of my life right now. Kind of sad, very disappointing, um, lots of mess going on. We're, we're not really sure what's happening, but we're going with it, you know, kind of like this bear. Don't judge it too harshly, okay? I'm very tired. Look what I just found. This is a 3D printed teddy bear I made a really long time ago. So let's see how this one is gonna compare to the one I'm gonna make today. All right, guys, um, we're done with the video. This is so fun to make. Here we have our teddy bear. Um, but I was so kidding. If I ever pulled a video like that, unsubscribe. And today's subscriber shout out goes to Brad White. Thank you, Brad. I see all your comments and you are hilarious. Okay, guys, so far I'm trying to be optimistic. Trust me, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to have good thoughts, positive energy, all of the things, but at this rate, we may or may not have a video. Like, it's it's bad. Um, the clay isn't working out. Look, like, look, look at this. How it feels like marshmallow. Like, I don't know. I maybe I haven't used clay in a while, but like, it's just not doing anything I need it to do. Um, maybe this is my fault. I'm sure Marisha's Marissa's having much better luck. So you should definitely go over to her channel and watch her video because it's it's gonna come out a lot better than this. That's all I'm saying. But we'll see. Uh. Okay. Have you ever like wanted to eat clay before? So you're probably thinking by now, Joseph, why choose a teddy bear as what you're gonna build with your first clay project? And that is because this is exclusively inspired by my president, Kanye West. If you remember, on the cover of his album, Graduation, there is a giant teddy bear flying through the sky. And in many ways, that giant teddy bear is a representation of a lot of things. First of all, my GPA, except it's going in the opposite direction. Second of all, my mental health. Hopefully it goes upwards, but we'll see on that. 
why is there a salad on the packaging? Like, it looks like it's supposed to be like edible, but it's not. That's kind of dangerous. That's right. I stuck my finger in the bottle and now it's stuck. Oh my God, what do I? Like either one, I break my finger, which I'm not doing. Or I cut the bottle. Oh, this is so painful. Oh my. Oh my God. Hey guys, we made it. I'm so proud of us. But now it's time to do details. I usually do details with Posca paint markers just because it's easier to control and there's less to worry about. But somehow it always messes up anyway. But. I got lucky this time. So when you use your Posca paint markers, I prefer the small ones. You can use the big ones if you want to, but I'm not that brave. Okay, but let's just be positive for a second. Look at how cool and like folly my window looks. Like it's, it reminds me of like a music video. I love fall. It just helps with getting the details right and everything because it's really frustrating when you use a paintbrush and you think like Oh, I'm just gonna go in and do a little one two and the one two ends up being one two three four Because you have to cover up all your mistakes that you made in the process So then it's like the whole point of this was supposed to be easy and now it's like four times harder than it needs to be Maybe that's just me, but if you've ever been through that, please let me know in the comments with a little support group for each other Okay, now that our teddy bear is done, it's time to finish him. I'm using Angelus Paint Finisher. You can use whatever you want. I wouldn't recommend this for this project specifically, but I have so much of this left and I need to get rid of it. And I can already see the comments already. So guys, can you please do me a favor? Keep your mind out of the gutter with this one. I'm trying to make this like a nice family-friendly video. Um, I rarely do that. So can for this one time, can we please just have like only innocent like comments? I understand it's funny like it looks funny I get it I get it it looks hilarious but like let's just keep it let's just keep it PG maybe we can do PG 13 but I'm trying to keep it PG here all right guys we have our teddy bear done here um yeah this was so fun to make if you guys it's not funny like this is so bad I don't know what to do I think I just I best case scenario um an asteroid hits the earth like if you guys want to see more clay stuff in the future, let me know, trust me, and say hi to Marissa in the comments. Just comment hi Marissa or something like that and go follow her account. She's super cool. She makes a bunch of awesome videos I'm sure you guys will like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Say bye bear. Bye. You know what's so crazy? The first person who invented clay was probably just playing with dirt. So next time your parents are like, don't play with dirt, remind them.